we are going to be making a portable USB 9 volt battery powered iPhone charger or any other USB sort of thing. What you will need is a car charger. I've already opened mine. A 9 volt battery, any brand will work. You will also need some electrical tape, necessary, and some sort of box. Whatever size you want, but make sure it's big enough to fit your internal pieces of your car charger and your battery. For a tool, you will also need either a Dremel or a soldering iron, like the one I have. As you can see, a Dremel would work better, but a soldering, soldering iron would do the job. Rather messy, but it'll, it'll do it. Here's a list of all the items you will need if you want to pause the YouTube video and look at them. The first step will be to open your box and line the whole thing with electrical tape like I have done. I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again. Now you want to pry open your car charger with some sort of tool like a flathead screwdriver or something else. It should come open pretty easily. I've opened mine. After that you will find a board inside. You're going to use this board to be the main part of your USB portable charger. The spring will be the positive which is going to your battery and the black or red wire in my case black will be the negative charge. Now you will get your electrical tape and peel off I would say about an inch and a half and cut it right down the center so the piece isn't too big. Like this. So now you have two about centimeter long pieces. Now that you have your two pieces of electrical tape, just set them down for now. You're going to get your battery and the internal piece of your car charger and you're going to want to tape the wire to the negative side. I'll do it right now. Make sure it is touching the metal. So it'll work. You might want to do a couple pieces to make sure that it doesn't come off. I did mine. As you can see. So now, you don't want to tape your spring because that'll, the spring will give you the ability to turn off and on your portable charger. Now, open the box you have chosen. My box is really big. Please feel free to get a smaller box. I just couldn't find any others. And you will put it inside your box. And you should have either dremeled or soldered out a hole in your box I have to fit your USB port so it should fit mine fits and also Dremel or solder out a little hole for the light too so you can tell when it's on and you can either velcro those down in place or use some electrical tape or strong tape my box is in a nice position so you can see that the USB has come out. I have not poked a hole for the light yet. I will do that later. And the spring will touch the metal piece when you want to turn it on. And when you want to turn it off, get a little piece of paper and put it in between the spring and the positive charge on your battery and it'll stay off until you move the piece of paper. I want to finish the one I was working on in the video later so I can make it look really nice and presentable, but I will show you one I have 
already made and I made it in this white box so yeah I have already poked out a light hole and a USB hole trying to make that look better inside you can see my battery it's taped up to the board and when I remove this piece of paper holding the spring back the light will turn on and that means it's on and you can plug in your USB device the next step is to try it thank you guys for watching and please it would mean a lot if you subscribe to my channel or even left a comment and please like this video so thanks and watch out for more awesome videos by me Have a good day. Thank you for watching KK Kitty 2000's channel. Please subscribe or liking is good too. But seriously, subscribe. Please click here to watch my awesome videos or comment below. It will be worth it, probably not. Maybe, I don't know. Depends if you do it or not. Bye!